So a lot of people have asked me to do a full day of eating video. And at first I considered it, but then I decided not to do it. You want to know why? Because it'd be pretty boring. It'd be very boring, actually. Most of these full day of eating videos by fitness influencers are absolute nonsense. They don't eat like that. They eat normal. They probably eat how I eat. Well, they've been training for a long time. They have good genetics. A lot of them probably doing, you know, blasting all year, trend or whatever. The only videos that, you know, a, a full day of eating are, are legit for are probably professional bodybuilders. Right? So the professional bodybuilders who did a full day of eating, it was like bizarre to see how much these guys eat. But that doesn't apply to just fitness influencers, coaches, whatever. Most of them, I can guarantee you, eat normal. Just, you know, probably a little better than you do, you know, the, the average Joe. Most people. But, I mean, you know, if you saw what I ate in a day, you'd be like, oh, that's <laughs> probably not leaps and bound different than the average person who just eats relatively well. You know, for instance, you know, today, what did I eat? I had at about 1130 in the morning, I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a banana. I also had a uh, drink that had like magnesium and zinc and stuff in it because I felt like I was coming down with something. For lunch, <clears throat> I had a boar's head turkey sub from Publix. For dinner, probably going to be that same basic meal I eat all the time with, you know, I, I normally eat that for lunch, but I didn't today. Probably going to be like, you know, pound of beef, ground beef, 85% with some onions, some garlic, and rice. And my, my eating doesn't really stray too far from that. You know, sometimes um, in the afternoon, if I don't feel like making beef and rice, I'll get a burger. Sometimes at night I'll get a pizza. But I'm not on this complicated diet like a lot of people might think. You know, a lot of people think the people who have a relatively impressive physique are dieting all the time. While there are some that might be, a lot of them don't. I never really had to diet to have visible abs. There are some people in the world that are like this. Not a lot. So I'm not going to do a full day eating because it's not very interesting. All right. A lot of the times I think people are interested in a full day eating because I think they might see what, what a particular individual consumes in a day. Try to replicate it thinking that their body is going to look like that individual's. That's insane. That is literally the same as... You know, going up to somebody who's wearing a pair of pants and saying, wow, those pants, they look great on you. Can I have, I'll buy them off you. And the person looking at you be like, how do you know they're going to fit you? Oh, well, they look good on you, so they're going to look just as good on me. No, that's insane. It's literally the same thing when you try to replicate someone's diet thinking it's going to work exactly the same for you or someone's workout, or anything someone does. Trying to replicate what works for somebody is no different than grabbing the clothes off of someone's back without any consideration for the size of the clothing and thinking it's going to look and fit the same on you. This is why full day of eating videos are stupid outside of just entertainment. You know, I love watching that... Um, Ronnie Coleman video, you could find it on YouTube where he goes through a, a full day eating. And I'm like, you know, it's entertaining to watch because you're like, wow, this guy eats a lot. But if you imitate the way Ronnie Coleman eats, you're going to get fat. <laughs> if you imitate the way I eat, nothing special is going to happen. OK, a lot of people are also under the impression that you have not gotten your idea of a good physique because there's something missing 
in what you're eating. Usually you could use more protein and less calories, you know, if you're trying to lose weight. But a lot of the time there isn't some secret that you're going to discover on a full day eating. Like, um, oh wow, this guy, he adds whatever supplement first thing in the morning and look at him, he's got abs, so I'm going to take that supplement. No, that's how they get you. That's how they sell you garbage. You got to remember getting getting a, a an aesthetic physique that's relatively lean and muscular, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. All right? There's no way to accelerate it other than anabolics. And for most people, the anabolics aren't even going to do much anyway. So I think it comes down to just people kind of being impatient. You know, if you're looking to lose body fat, you have to adhere to negative energy balance for pretty lengthy period of time, depending on how fat you are. It's not going to happen overnight. If you want to build muscle, you have to adhere to a training program for a decent period of time, several months, a couple of years to see it maximize your potential. And the truth is, it's all very simple. Diet is so simple. Training is so simple. But I think people believe that complicating it is going to accelerate the results, but it's not. Okay? Shifting your diet approach a million different times is not going to somehow land you with this meal plan that's going to give you rapid or accelerated results. Same with the training. It comes down to consistency. It comes down to discipline. It comes down to adhering the handful of principles that you just simply need to adhere to for a period of time. Then all the pieces will fall into place. You just need to be patient. Okay. Can we go over the principles all the time? You're losing fat, calorie deficit. You want to gain mass because you're skinny, slight calorie surplus. Train hard. Train consistently. Don't do too much. Don't do it too often. And then just be patient. Don't go looking for what, uh, you know, Steve Cook eats in a day or whatever fitness influencer eats in a day, trying to replicate it, thinking you're going to look like that. It's not how it works. Have a good diet. Sitting in my kitchen right now for the sake of this video. If you cook most of your own food at home, you're more than half of the way there. That's the first step you could take. Rather than trying to find some complicated uh, meal thing that some asshole on YouTube does, fire up the stove, fire up the oven, fire up the damn microwave for all I care. Just cook your food at home. Prepare it at home. You're cutting out a lot of calories. You're eating more nutrient-dense food. That's step one. Step two, be consistent. Stay with it long enough, your body will start to change its shape. Your body composition will start to change. And what you will see in six months to a year will baffle your friends and family. If you just stick to the simple principles, and you stick to them long enough. Literally all it comes down to. All right? So that's some food for thought for today when it comes to diet tricks, diet plans, whatever. It's not that complicated. Energy balance, protein requirement, cook your meals at home, consistency. That's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification icon. Of course, so you can be notified when I drop more videos like this that can help you get the best physique you've ever had in as minimal time possible. Take care.